snowing out. Snowing. Good morning, new kitty. How you doing? Just waking up? Good morning everybody, this is Organic Dairyman, welcome to my channel today, today is Wednesday, I think it's the 24th of March, let me double check, nope, the 25th, the 25th of March already, boy, where all the days been going, anyways, I hope everybody is doing great this morning, I hope everybody's having a great day, or you did have a great day, I'm doing pretty good, I am. Uh, just going out and about here this morning, checking things, checking on things, and getting going with chores. And uh, whoo, it is snowing out just a little tiny bit. Seems like most of it is melting before it hits the ground. Really, not much of any of accumulation at all. So yeah, today is a little cooler than yesterday, but yeah, we're slowly making progress spring is progressing along well, i should say slowly but yeah so what are we going to do around here today well oh i don't know if we're going to get anything else done i would like to get my tractor up here my 720 and get that power washed and uh i don't know i was going to maybe grind some hay today too for the dry cows but i don't know if we're going to do that today i think i'd have enough for today yet and then maybe tomorrow and we got to go to town and get some more um well we always store it over here we got to get some more sodium bicarbonate for the milk cow so we're gonna have to make a trip to town to do that and other than that i really don't know what's all gonna take place here today today's gonna be kind of one of those days where probably just gonna end up uh well seeing what comes along and deal with it as it comes kind of a day Make up stuff as you go. Sometimes that's how the days, some some days go when it's slower, but we'll find something to keep busy with, that's for sure. So, anyways, I'm going to keep going here with my stuff, and uh, whew, we'll see what happens here with the snow. Huh. Well, guys, you still haven't done anything. Uh, I just was checked on her about 15 minutes. Well, maybe about 20 minutes ago. Uh, she's just kind of taking her time. She's got to get dilated and opened up in there. But uh, yeah, the embryo or the the sack was out a little bit, but it just takes takes it just takes time. One thing you don't want to rush them because they got like I said, they got to dilate. They got to open up inside so they don't uh, something doesn't get torn torn oh, we'll come back later and check on her um, I'm gonna go back and do we got another job here we're gonna be working on here in a little bit well my brother's gonna work on it my brother Steve's gonna be working on it probably but I'll get some footage of it and uh, yeah okay um, this is the product that we're gonna do we got a, I showed you guys earlier, we're going to replace that stall. And I got to let out three cows here, otherwise they'll get scared because we got to do some grinding and drilling and sawing. We got the grinder down there. And this is the, the stall here we're going to put in there because that's where that new heifer is going to go. The new mom's going to go. Well, I don't know for sure going to put the new mom here, but it needs to get fixed anyways. But So I'm going to let these guys three of them out and uh, that's what we're gonna do here. Well, you know what I forgot to do yesterday, guys? I forgot to tighten up these motor mount bolts. Yeah. 
That wouldn't have been a good thing. I'm glad I remembered it. They would have come loose and the motor would have come loose and it wouldn't have been a good thing. So I'm glad I remembered it. Well, back to this heifer. She still hasn't had a calf yet. Um, I don't know what to say here. I don't know if she just needs more time to open up yet. But if she doesn't do something, we're going to have to get her in. Get her in the head gate over there. We're gonna have to reach inside of her and see, see what's going on, and see if the calf is for sure coming. If it's coming breech, backwards, or if she's got a twist. They have times they can get a twisted uterus. So if she get a twisted uterus, we're gonna have to call the vet. You know, it's very rare that we ever get a twisted uterus, but we might have to. We might have to call the vet here. So we're just gonna have to keep a close eye on her. Oh, it's always sometimes. Some, it depends on if the bowl was calving ease too. It should have been a calving ease bowl, but um, we'll find out here shortly. But uh, we're just gonna keep a real close eye on her. Okay, everybody, you're saying, what am I doing? Where am I going? Well, anyways, I'm headed to town here because I gotta get some uh, sodium bicarb here at the feed store before they close up, and. Uh, yeah, so I still got to finish the feeding here. I just got a load for the milk cows and uh, and an update too about that heifer that uh, was calving. Um, the calf was not coming backwards, but its legs were tipped back. Where you know normally when they come out, they're supposed to come out with their their front feet facing first and then their head. And her head was coming the right way, but her feet were pulled back. Anyway, so my brother, he, I wasn't, I wasn't there. I was working at the feeding when he did it. Anyway, so he uh, pulled the calf, got the legs out so they came right. Anyways, he pulled the calf out, and when he pulled the calf out, the calf was, uh, it was dead. So I don't know exactly what happened with the. Uh, why the calf was why the calf died but um, yeah so it was um, basically yeah it wasn't it was dead so well, unfortunately that's the way things happen the way they go sometimes it's, it's just um, and it was it was a big calf too so that didn't help anything and it was a bigger calf than what it should have been you know, you, we always breed for calving ease, for heifers, and sometimes it doesn't always work that way. You breed for it, but it doesn't always work. That may have something to do with it, so I don't know. But anyways, I got to run to the feed store, and I might stop at the farm store and grab a few things. I don't know yet, but um, we'll see here what we get done. Just boogieing, boogieing down the road here, and, and I guess. Okay, I just picked up a few items here at the farm store that I needed. Oops, I don't have the camera turned at me. I got a few items here at Runnings this quick. Got what I needed and got the heck out of there. And I did take precautions. I did have gloves on, so I am being careful. And uh, keeping social distancing, staying away as far as I can from anybody else. So, I'm gonna get back home and get back to the uh, back to the feeding chores. Keep a going here and see what we also can get done here for the day. back home oh yeah yeah when I was in town there at the feed store they just told me and there was another uh, case of coronavirus not too far from here um, they said Graceville Minnesota 
which isn't very far from here, about 30 miles from here. So, oh yeah. Well, it was from someone that traveled um, recently. That's why they got it, because it was from traveling. So, which is this whole thing with this um, COVID-19 or Corona virus thing is the fact that it is very contagious that's what they keep saying oh I just think we ought to sue the heck out of China for this because it's their fault it was China's fault that this thing got out of control the Chinese Communist Party they are to blame for this because they could have stopped this thing before it got out of control and now we have a global pandemic because of it because of China the China Communist Party's pride they put, they were too prideful admit they had a problem unbelievable I don't know if you've watched any videos about China and what they did they, they knew about it early on they covered it up and People traveled in and out of China and nobody had a clue they had a problem and they spread it around the world. Now, I don't know. I saw something one day where I thought they said somebody was going to, some company or persons that were going to try to sue China for 20 trillion, 20 trillion dollars. Well, who knows what the, at the end of the day what this is all going to cost the world. It's going to be a lot of money. It's all because of the Communist Party of China. Pride goes before the fall. Anyway, enough about talking about that COVID-19 thing. Um, we keep working at the feeding and um, see what else we get done. I just don't know if I'm gonna get the power washing my tractor off. I might see if I can move it and get it out in the front. I gotta move the bagger in the shed, but we'll see. Hey guys, I need to show you this finished stall here. Um, I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of dark over here, but we actually moved a stall. That's going to be the stall there where the heifer goes that we got to get in yet. And so this is the new, the new one here. It's anchored down, and we we ran a, I rather ran a pipe up there to help hold it, so it is good. And the cows are happy. So, yep, we got a fixed stall. We got one more. We got to fix later on, but that one was really bad. So I gotta get back to the feeding. Okay, I was just walking back up to the tractor to get the, the feeder wagon so I could finish loading that for the cows. But anyway, if everybody is wondering, like, what if you're new to the channel and you don't know what we used to use for a grain drill, well, this is what we used to use. Um, we got another one in the shed. They're two 12 foot sections and they hook together. And they uh they put the shield on this it was a homemade deal and this is what we were using but this drill is old the discs are getting about shot in here and uh, yeah those that's the I don't know if you can even read that I remember that's you know what these things are they're old so yes so we're gonna get something so we're going from that drill to this one over here now that's, that's gonna be kind of an upgrade for us so yes I actually did buy another one of those lights when I was in town at the farm store too so I got to get two more of them in there and we'll have really good lighting in here but yeah so I didn't get anything more done on this today we gotta oh this has been kind of a cooler day so Anyways, guys, I think I'm actually going to run this video into tomorrow. So, um, I'm going to keep going with the feeding chores here. And we got to get that fresh heifer in and get her milk. She's fine. She's A-OK. -okay. She's doing just fine. So. so, anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow.
Hey, good morning everybody. It is another day. Um, <laughs> and I see the electrical guys are back out working again. I just heard that they got up early this morning to go work on that. I just heard some noise. So I had to walk back out here and and uh, check them out and see what they were doing. They are just going around, finished putting all the poles in. I suppose pretty soon they'll be stringing up the wire. But anyways, um, as long as we're out this way, here's that plow that we bought last year. If anybody remembers it that's been with the channel, you remember we bought this this Case 700 plow. And if you're new to the channel, yeah, that's what we bought last year. It's a six bottom plow. It uh, actually has one more bottom that can go on it, but we just haven't put it on here. But anyways, one of the things we got to do to this plow is... We got a couple cylinders here that are leaking oil. This one and I think this one back here is leaking. There's something, I know for sure this one we got to replace. We got to get it fixed. It's got a bad leak on it. So, yep, we use this for breaking up our alfalfa since obviously when you're organic you can't spray. This we use to plow in our alfalfa. So, yeah. But yeah, there is another bottom we can get for it. So right now it's a six, but I think the tractor can only handle a six bottom anyway. It couldn't handle a seven, but yeah. So anyway, um, what do we got going on here today? Today we, today, um, I got to call my cousin here a little bit because we're going to have to borrow the hay grinder today because we need to uh, grind some hay for the dry cows. As long as it's here, we'll grind, as long as it's here, we'll grind some more hay for the, the um, bread heifers too so so probably that's going to consume a little bit of time here today and it's not overall it's not a bad day it's just cloudy out a little not quite as cold as it was yesterday but um yeah so i'm gonna get busy with my stuff here and we're gonna see what happens here for today and then we'll go from there Hopefully it's gonna be a good day. Okay guys, um, I gotta go over to my cousin's place and get that hay grinder that I was talking about earlier. I got uh, got a hold of them, they said it was okay for me to go get it, or the hay grinder, mainly I just call over to make sure it's okay to, there's nothing broke on there, and whatever. But anyways, um, I have a little bit of time here, and I know this annoys the heck out of people, but my uh, rear view mirror is always hanging here. So I do have some some uh, glue here, so I'm gonna quick put this thing back up. I know I'm not gonna replace the windshield because it's an old, it's just a rundown farm truck. And but so I'm gonna quick do that. I just gotta trace trace the outline here with a marker so I know where to put it. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do here. And get this job done because I just know that it's it's a pet peeve for some people when they see that <laughs> I'm gonna get it done today I sort of got the thing up there. I went to go put the glue on there and here the glue in the package was already dried up so I had some crazy glue. So I'm gonna try it with that and see if that holds. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at least I tried. We'll try it. Anyways, um, obviously yeah, I'm headed over to my cousin to go get the hay grinder. And I don't know, this road they say it's supposed to be closed, but apparently people are driving through here, so I think it's okay to drive through here with the pickup, but maybe not with the uh, tractor and the tub grinder. I don't know, I'm not exactly for sure, but I think, oh yeah, just culvert is just 
Oh yeah. That culvert collapsed, I think, somewhat. That's probably why. Because there's water that drains through both these sloughs down here. But anyways, I'll be over there in a little bit and I'll start that old cold-blooded beast up again. Okay, as you can see, I'm over here, back home. I think that's a good spot to, to grind because the wind, over there it's kind of muddy, I don't want to grind over there. And the wind's coming out of south, so I don't want the wind blowing the hay dust back at the tractor. So, I'm gonna go get the loader, get some bale set out, and we'll start grinding. Some of the dry cow bales are right next to that blue grain truck that doesn't work, just so anybody knows that, if you're new to the channel, that blue truck, is not worth its time and money to fix up. It's seen its better days. Okay, <laughs> I finally got all done. I got the dry cows hay over there and the bread halfers and the rest of the young stock hay over here. Oh man, this hay grinder, tub grinder is so hot and picking slow. <laughs> I'd say it's kind of weird because I'm trying to do two things at the same time. I try to work at the feeding. If I stay here and watch it, then the bales just seem like they trickle through. If I take off and leave, then the bales just like the they run through like water. I don't know what it is. This thing is kind of a, uh, I don't know. Just kind of got a temperamental. Anyways, I gotta go get some fuel in this, this uh, green beast here and uh, take it back over to my cousin Bill's place. And uh, hopefully we'll be done with it for a couple weeks again. Tell it need it again. There, it's done. Okay, everybody, I'm back home, and guess what? <laughs> that crazy glue didn't work. So I'm gonna have to and scrape that back off, and uh, I'm gonna have to make a trip back to the auto parts store and get the right, get that stuff again, and make sure that glue that's, that comes with it isn't all dried up. It probably dried out because it left it sit in here for so long. Set out in the sun, maybe it dried up. I don't know. <sighs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try anyway, so. Now yeah, back to the feeding chores.
Okay, back. Back in the loader tractor. Back to do some feeding. Feeding chores. Um, one thing too I wanted before I oops, before I forget here guys. Um, let's see if we can find it here again. Um, I know uh, earlier I've always been talking about doing a patron uh, patron account. So um, anyways I finally went did it, signed up for um, patron and so I got an account set up now. So I'll put a link down in the description for my patron account and uh, the reason why I decided to start a patron account was because um, I started up with attention to try to get some extra money to help fix my brother's tractor. He's a 720 diesel. It, we're going to kind of do a major, somewhat of a major overhaul on it. And you know, we're figuring about on the lowest side, maybe $2,500. The highest side, maybe $3,000 to get it fixed up. So that's kind of what we're shooting for. So if you guys, you want to chip in, help get some money, see that tractor get uh, fixed up and get back running again. It's got a blown head gasket on it. But, you know, it's got bad compression in it too. It's not just a head gasket. It, it, it does need to have new rings put in there and everything. So, so anyways, that's what the deal is. So if you want to go check the link out and become a member, sign up the Patreon thing and give whatever you can give for monthly donation. And anyways, when we get enough money raised up, uh, I'll probably just uh, I'll get some money for it and get it fixed up. The Patreon members will actually have they'll have access if I can figure it out how to do it. They'll have access to the first videos of it, so, so you guys will get to see it first. So, anyways, I better keep going with this, and uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon account. Okay, everybody, I just came up here to the dry cow shed to uh, finish up this video and that's going to show you the grain, the grain cleaner here. Uh, my brother, both my brothers were working on it. All they got here was a center screen done. They still got to do the, uh, the outside screen yet. The outside screen is over here. So they got to put that on yet. And then this thing will be ready to clean oats. Bit of a job. Well, that's what my brother said. It's kind of a job. He's like, I don't want to do that again. But, um, yeah. It wouldn't be so bad if they made this thing, like, if it was easy, just to, you could just replace the whole rotor thing on here and be done with it. I don't know. But, anyways. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. So everybody, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, I don't know, tomorrow we, we'll see if we get time to do that or not, I don't know. The vet's coming tomorrow, so it's gonna eat up a little bit of time, but we gotta move some calves around too. <sighs> I hate doing that job. I hate working calves <laughs> and moving them around. It's not my most favorite job, but it's gotta be done, so. Anyways, we'll see what happens here tomorrow, see how it goes, see what we get done. Oh, so I didn't get anything done I wanted to get done. I want to get the i720 up here. I want to get it power washed, cleaned up, so I get that power steering problem fixed, the power steering leak. We got a lot of products that we got to do around here, but just there's other jobs that take up time and chores and whatnot. So we'll get there. We're getting there a little bit of time. We're just gonna stay positive, and we'll get there one day at a time. It's like this Corona or this um, COVID-19 thing. I guess you can't say the Corona virus thing. Apparently YouTube videos get demonetized or something. I don't know. I think I've said it. None of mine have. I don't know. But anyways, well, um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So, and uh, we'll get these projects done. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter at OrganicDairyman. And please don't forget to check out my Patreon account and 
appreciate it if you want to contribute some money to help fix up my brother's tractor so we get that thing going and um yeah i think thanks guys for all the subscriptions i really appreciate each and every one of you and um have a good night take care take it easy stay healthy stay safe and stay home if you don't need to go anywhere <laughs> so um anyways uh, have a good night and uh i'll catch you later